Former Secretary of State Diana Duran will spend Christmas in jail. She accepted the judge's sentence before a noon deadline today. Here's News 13's Alex Goldsmith. Well, Jessica, Diana Duran had the option of going to jail or going to trial. She decided not to gamble this time. On Monday, the former Secretary of State was sentenced to 30 days in jail and five years probation, owes 28,000 in fines and restitution, 2,000 hours of community service, all for stealing campaign funds and then spending that stolen money at casinos. The Attorney General's office struck a plea deal with Duran where it only recommended probation and a suspended sentence. The judge went above that, and because the sentence was stronger than what was in the plea deal, Duran was given the option of backing out, but she decided not to. On News 13's Facebook page, most have said just 30 days for Duran was too light, with one commenter sarcastically calling it, quote, New Mexico justice. But Duran's attorney says people have the wrong idea about her. This is a woman who is deeply ashamed of what she did. This is a woman who is deeply remorseful for her actions. Her attorney tells News 13 the public doesn't know the, quote, real Diana Duran and doesn't think her client's gotten enough credit for accepting responsibility instead of fighting the case. She went on to say, it's a shame the public doesn't see that, but instead, armed with pitchforks, they have been clamoring for a stiff prison sentence. Meanwhile, Attorney General Hector Balderas defended his office's plea deal. While the AG's office recommended no jail time for Duran in that plea deal, Balderas says that was, quote, only a baseline and that he respects the court's discretion. Back to you, Jess. All right, thank you, Alex. Before pleading guilty and resigning a couple months ago, lawmakers were looking at impeaching Duran. They spent more than $17,000 to start that process.